Looks like this is all the time we have for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, look, he got his design in his horns. So if you want to find out who this guy is and what he's about, you have to tune in next time. So once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Hello and welcome. I'm Mike Like, and welcome to the Banner Saga. In the last one, we had a rough fight with some dredge to save this guy. And now let's talk to him to see what it's about. See what he's all about. Welcome to my meat house. Shij Skig. I can't say that name. I don't call him Sig. Elsa Mead. I wasn't expecting a viral this far south. Or this drunk. <laughs> I can see that. There are people huddled in the corner of the meat hall looking on with uneasiness. Who are all these? Who are you people? No, no, they're friends. They made this place. It's not really mine. You lure Dredge back to her room full of unarmed people? What is wrong with you? Come on, I saved everyone in here. They shared some fine drink, the best drink. Wait, I was saving your ass. Remember that part? No, I'm pretty sure you went. No, you didn't go down first. For some reason I thought you went down first. If you knew you come up here, you could have told me. If you knew you'd come up here, you could have told me. What do we do with this guy? Uh, we're not getting involved. Uh, anyone here is welcome to join us. These townsmen show you a huge stack of barrels filled with quality mead and help you haul them back to the caravan. Yes! Yes! I'll miss this place. Good memories. Perfect. That's both things I want wanted a lot. With some help, you gather up the cast of mead and head back to the caravan. Sighorn and the other survivors in tow. The caravan gives the boisterous vow a large berth as you set out for Borsgard. Alright, so we got nine days of supplies. We got 20 renowns, so I'm finally going to get to upgrade my guys. I cannot wait. So maybe actually I, when we get close to town, I don't know. Ugh, what did I do? Sigorn wakes in a pool of his own sick. Why am I surrounded by small people? The other clansmen let him sleep off his drunken stupor on the ground. And this morning he's paying the price. Uh, help him recover, I guess. Reluctantly, your clansmen offer any food and drink they can scrounge together for the morning moaning vile. When the offer when one offers thin mead, he pushes it away. In fact, take this away from me, he says, and you as massive mead stained. <laughs> Eventually Sigorn comes to you. I won't get into details, he says. I was supposed to bring those casts from Ridgevik back to Borsgard. I drank maybe half by accident. Point is, Sigorn continues. You don't tell anybody what happened, I won't tell anybody about the mead you got, okay? Trust me on this one. You agree and get back to travel. Hey, hey we got another item. Hey, if we got all that mead, you can't be in poor morale. Christ. You think you'd be in good, excellent shape. <laughs> Maybe we should stop for rest. The poor morale is certainly hurting us in fights. A gaunt man and woman approach the caravan, hands held high. A word, friends, the man says. We are poor farmers, down our luck. The woman hits him and says, We're outlaws, plain and simple. Ten of us, and we'll help you in a fight for some food up front. What are your crimes? Misunderstandings, the man says. Meat houses are confusing. Never know when you drank your share. The woman hits him again and says, We stole and killed a few when we had to. Skills that might benefit you out here. Join us, but you'll be watched. Yeah. Okay. The coup quickly shuffled to a supply wagon as eight more bandits emerged from the wilderness. They gorged themselves on salted fish and cheese, taking time to thank everyone after eating. They politely keep to themselves. Arg! Arg! You assholes! <laughs> we eat our food! We need that stuff. Hey, what's that down there? Is that a town? Or is it Godstone? Stephen Bastards, you waken to hear the small band outlaws who had previously joined the caravan, made off with a substantial number of supplies where everyone slept. A watchman tells you, why in the debts were they allowed to join to begin with? Great. Great. Never don't starve to death. 
It was only three days. Past steep cliffs, the sprawl of Boersgard comes into view. A city of contrasting rich and poor, opportunity and gamble. Our best hope for salvation, or our graves. Slayer and the Slain, Chapter 7. Ooh, this is a different view. Finally, you arrive at Borsgard, where the... I suppose I'm saying it right? Yeah. Where the walls stretch for miles in both directions are littered with the bodies of dredge, viral, and men. Excuse the mess, says a voice from above the gates. Looking up, you spy a striking viral, his face wreathed with matted black hair. Movement at the gate catches your eye. Dredge are still banging on the gate doors without luck. Let us in, you shout. Sigorn pushes past. I won't be hearing the end of this for a while, he says, before yelling, Open up, Borvirk. They dug me out of Ravenick. You hear a loud echoing laugh echoing on the wind as the doors creak. A dozen armed men, led by massive Varl, make quick work of the dredge and usher you into the city. Okay. You may be interested to know they brought a mender. You didn't go get a mender. Holy crap, he is massive. Was that? <laughs> Where did you didn't go to get a mender? Where's the mead? <laughs> that polar bear skin. Sigorn shrugs apologetically. I guess the mender will do. Either we got a chance now, or we're completely screwed. I'm work. We come a long way. Some as far as Skulger. Are you in charge here? In charge of the governor, I suppose. Listen, you have something to tell him. Say it now. Otherwise, you're on your own. I don't care where you go, but stirring up trouble is probably the only reason you'll see me again. It won't be to talk. Mender, come along. We're going to go see the governor. Borvork and Sigorn weave the violin, who goes willingly, signaling that he's fine. Fane, this is just like Frostviller all over again. This is nothing like Frostviller. Fane is a bad word, isn't it? It's a swear word. The one in Berkin is probably leading the ravens. Ravens? Is that good or bad? It depends on who you're working for. Hopefully it really is the governor and not someone trying to strong arm their way into his seat. I guess we wait for Ivan to tell us if he comes back. I'm not worried about Ivan. I'm worried about the army of refugees we brought. Who don't belong here. You're probably right. Nobody ever uttered a nice thing about Borsgard. So what now? We ought to go We ought to go to the docks and see where our options are, in case we need to leave quickly. Do you notice the city guards when we came in? What guards? I have a feeling the ravens are all there got left. Something serious went down. And when the biller gets here, he's going to walk right through this place without even breaking his stride. Let's keep that to ourselves for now. So, the docks. What a nice little place. A weird place. So, map. Yeah, let's see where we are. Uh, I always forget this map takes a while to load. Then my mouse goes funny. So, we were way... We were... We started in Sturgholm last uh, episode. No... Now we're in Borsgard. An aging, senile mess of a city that can't matter whether it wants to sell you something or steal everything you got. Well, Ormazdor grew early into important all of trade. Um, his twin city, Borsgard, became the place to buy things no one else was willing to hawk. It is greatly supported by the potent items harvested in Ravenic and Tistal, and plagued by huge disparities between the stream witch and the suffering poor. Okay. That's a deep mot. Ormas River eventually opens to a deep lake. Deep mot promised a thriving industry for Borsgard. That was before overfishing and pollution essentially ruined the lake. A lake taking with it Borsgard ambition to become a capital of mankind to the east. <laughs> So as I said before, I got a bit of history with geography, so I find that stuff really interesting. I think before we go down to the docks, those like dokes to me, 
we should see if anyone could get upgraded. Let's see Krumar, he's only level one. I imagine everyone else is fairly high. Is either him or Ejo or Nid. I don't think Nid can be promoted yet. Okay, he's only five, so let's promote him. And we have 20. So I want him to have more strike. Armor wouldn't be bad either. Be able to take an attack. Let's give him some more of this. And uh, one thing I think I'm going to start doing, excuse me, is, uh, no, that's not it. Yes, that was the right spot. Let's try to start using this ability a bit more, or more strategically. Since I have her in my party, and she's leveled up, it says, uh, what is she, level 2, is she? I can't remember already. Anyway, it's 2 arrows plus 1 to strength. And they said here that they stop your opponent in your track in their tracks and do damage. So if I fire into a spot and they hit it, they won't be able to move forward. That sounds like that sounds great. Maybe even have her before him. Not quite that's not what I meant at all. <laughs> now I got all this screwed up. Uh, let's put Mogan in. I need some uh, damage in there. And gun off. There we go. That was good to me. Because sometimes you get random battles. I don't think you could change around your heroes for that. I could be wrong. I played this game quite a bit now. I should remember, but I don't. Uh, let's go down to the docks, I guess. When you get to the docks, your heart sinks. Not a long ship to be seen, aside from wrecks. Bodies float in the water. Buildings are thrashed and boarded up. Thrashed and boarded up. What happened here? Murmurs Alette. They're all gone, says Ivan, approaching alone. I see you had the same thought as me. Great. Ivan, you are okay. I'm fine. It wasn't a lie. The governor is here. He's in hiding. Why? Since the dread started appearing, anyone with a ship and a half a wit left long ago. People can't leave by foot. Food is scarce. The markets are bare. Boar's guard is a fire keg waiting for someone to tip it over. So the governor is paying the ravens to protect him against his own people. And keep the peace, so to speak. It's more like a massacre any time there's a hint of an uprising. Where does that leave us? I promised him the Mender's protection in Arborang. I don't think he's very popular there. They're going to start tearing this place down to build new ships. We can ride the Ormassa River all the way to the capital. Leave another perfectly good city behind. How long will it take to build new ships? Hold on, what happens to people living in Borsgard? It's the best I could do, Olet. He thought it could take as long as a month. You don't usually make ships out of scrap lumber. You really need a ship? Couldn't they just get by with a raft? As soon as people figure out what's going on, there's going to be riots in the streets. A month? Why bother? Belor will be here within the week, if not sooner. I'm open to suggestions. Gods be damned. There's no end to this? Ivor roars in frustration, leaving you standing by the docks. Alette gives you a worried look before chasing after him. Ivan, what do we know about Belwar? Ivan says nothing for a moment. I don't know. Oh my. So I guess Ivan ran away, so we go talk to him. He went quite a distance in a couple minutes. So let's go look at the market. Ooh. One gets one. Ouch. How many do I have? Two days worth of supplies. This is going to be rough. Rough, rough, rough. What's this? Lightning runestone. A small, a small stone with curious carvings that conjures images of furious lightning storms. A 10% chance, two times straight there. It's drawing a grove. That sounds great. Fortunately, I might have to buy some supplies, though. Shoes made from the ooze of 
Orsborn and long been rumored to make one faster if not cold hearted one movement ten dodge strength attacks might be surprised to learn they're horseborn but they're to a south on the plains and off this way maybe banner saga 2 might cover that who knows maybe in this game but i haven't got to it yet powder crushed from unusual rocks of the north filling waste are often used to paint shields adding to your strength plus two armor that wouldn't be bad either if i had some more renown uh, let's see what Ivan has to say first. Ivor, sorry. You find Ivor standing on the city walls overlooking the fields outside. Dredge are keeping their distance but continuing to gather. I'm okay, Rook. Ivor cuts you off before you can say anything. He knows he's... You know he's been through worse. Just feels like someone should cut us a break every now and then. If we want to be standing a month from now, we're going to have to be prepared. If we're going to be standing... Oh, what do you have in mind? What about the ravens? They'll save their own hides, and whoever is paying, they don't have two dams, but the rest of us, they don't give two dams. Okay, I thought you had an interesting way of saying it, but no, still, <laughs> they don't give two dams. Yeah. I got the impression from them. We watched the last episode. They're kind of big and imposing and narrowly looking. We may even end up facing off against them, depending on how this goes. Let's avoid that. First off, our clansmen need a place to stay. They'll get torn to pieces out in the streets. I'll keep an eye on the dredge up here. If they break through the walls, we're done for. So we have to keep them back. Could always use a hand with that. We need to know who's controlling what and make sure we get our cut. Food's going to become scarce. And when they start building those ships, we're going to have to keep people away. Oh boy, that sounds like awful. <laughs> what a damn mess. I'll do what I can. So, uh, I don't know if this game was inspired by Game of Thrones, but if you look at their website, it mentions Game of Thrones. So I get uh, kind of like the same like grim feeling of a world filled with assholes. I don't know about you guys, but that's the feeling I get anyway. What a damn mess. I'll do what I can. Ivor explains. I'm, a, I'm leading attacks with Ivan every time the dredge gets close to the gates. Listen, we're going to lose fighters and Varl every day like this. I don't need to tell you what happens as nobody's manning this wall. We can always use help. You consider what you want to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take a full day. Uh, oh god. That sounds like a good idea. Put Krumer in charge of leading the warriors. Sounds like we should find a place, safe place for a caravan to stay. Let's try to get some rest. Oh, I'm just going to sleep. I don't care. Uh, let's put Krumer in charge of leading the warriors. That sounds like a good idea. Krumer, you shout, calling around the war leader. This is your expertise. Are you willing? Krumer is more happy, more than happy to switch off leading the charge, giving Ivor a break between fights. He spends the rest of the day showing you complex war strategies to reduce losses. See, great idea. Something else has popped up. Oh, it pops up again. Minus nine viral. Ooh. Ow. And we only got one day's supplies left? Oh, man. This is going to suck. Ah, push the wrong button. Uh, let's buy a few days worth of supplies. Or we could go see if there's any supplies. Yeah, let's see if there's any supplies first. Because if we click on this, it's just going to say, what are we doing? Oh, Ira points out the dredge on the wall. There's a lot more of them, and they're getting braver, he says. You lost a fair number of fighters since yesterday. We could use your help if there's no way left to defend the walls. You consider what you want to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will take a full day. Okay, despite what he said, we're going to starve to death if we don't find a source for supplies. I checked around, Adelish tells you, and nobody has food, or they won't part with it for a fair price, and our medicine has been gone for days. Do you're gouging the prices or is just plain gone? 
She doesn't say it, but you can tell it's just going to be a serious problem. Uh, shaking down places doesn't seem like a good idea. I would try to tell the caravan to start rationing tire doesn't change the problem. That we've got one day's worth of food left. Scour the city. Okay, let's track down the ravens. You find a massive leader of the ravens along the docks where they're doing their best to keep a growing number of people in check while the boats are being constructed. You question them about food supplies. Should have brought your own, he says. I can't go giving out to every person in Borsgaard. I'd kill every last bastard in the city for some good mead, though. This place has been dry for weeks. Uh, oh god, there's the dumb idea. Scatter the streets for anyone selling instead. Offer the mead you picked up in Ridgevik. Is he just going to take it from us? We'll see if he just takes it from us, asshole. Let me get this straight, says Volvic. You happen to come across Ridgevik with Sigborn in tow and plenty of mead to go around. Is that right? You is to is a little too long. I'll murder that motherless yoke, growls Volvic. As he turns to leave, he grumbles, Bring the barrels and we'll make a trade. Okay, that turned out pretty good, even though Ridgevik might get murdered. The caravan protests when we tell them the deal you made, but we return with more supplies than you expected. The complaints vanish. So back there when we heard the clock sound and I lost people, did people starve to death? I think they might have. <laughs> yeah, plus 70 supplies. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, boy. So the market's still one to one, yeah. So we got enough for a few days. Hey, the week, uh, even though they lost Reed, the morale went up, I guess, from the supplies. But back there on the trail, when we, when we got Mead, the morale went down. I don't get that. Stuck to Ivor again. This is bad, says Ivan, as Ivor points out across the battlefield. Aside from the fact that we're up to our necks and dredges, a stone singer showed up. We've been losing warriors left and right. If we don't deal with it, this wall will come down by the end of the day. Okay. Dad, there's a riot at the docks. A rat runs up at a breath. They're trying to smash up the boats. When they calm her down, she says, the ravens are there, but she's worried that things could get out of hand. Let's let the ravens handle it. You can see what you want to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take a full day. Okay. So let's let the ravens handle the tasks at the docks. And let's, uh... Uh, join Ivor in defending the walls. The Sown Singer is going to wreck havoc on us if we don't take care of it, Ivor tells you. This will be a rough fight. We're going to take it down. You ready? You prepare yourself. Alrighty, a fight. Yeah. Fight, fight, fight. I'm going to use this. I don't know if I want I I haven't been able to use them effectively. Everyone has an item. Let's go. It's goo goo goo. I was just making sure everyone had the best items there. They probably don't. Okay, this is interesting. I, I thought first it was some kind of weird. I didn't know what this was. I still don't know, really know. It's a road? An old road? That stone singer is an arsehole, but he's not too tough. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's put these guys up here so they can actually support. And I'm going to start by using her ability to stop one of these guys from moving forward. Okay, uh, if I could put Ego second, if I could get him over there, I could kill him in probably one turn. Did I bring the right guy? I hope that's the right guy. Let's try this. I'm going to leave him here. Yeah, I could make him move towards. I don't know if there's any point in making him move towards me. But I want to use her. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to murder. I'll go here and murder that little frigger there. A 
And that should hurt him too. Perfect. It's not quite what I wanted though. Oh, what are you doing, you asshole? You're calling reinforcements, aren't you? I, I haven't had one of those guys actually pull that off yet. Where am I going to put him to? Hold back for now. No, 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 no. Let's leave him here. Or I can put him here, I suppose. He has five. He'll be fine. Let's knock this frigger down to size a bit. Yeah. Very nice. And let's use her to use that ability she got. First time I've used it. So if this guy comes here. He's going to get it. He's going to get something. Now I kind of lead him into it, though. If I could go there, I could get that little fucker there. Excuse my language. <laughs> I hate archers. I love my own, of course. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get him. That would be great. Let's do that. I'm using up so much of this willpower left and right. Does? No. Okay. That's good. It's good. It's good. It's all good. Let's, uh, mm, when we hit him, we're going to hit him hard. I should hit this guy, actually. Who are you going to hit? Okay, I got to... Where did that go? Okay, that went there. I can't hit anyone from here. Okay, I'll leave you back. I can't move you anywhere anyway. Might as well rest. I hit him for five. I move one ahead. I gotta move that guy next. I gotta make sure I remember that. Let's hit him for five. Six. Good. Let's hit him too. Good, good. Ooh, shoot. Ow. And make sure I get, get him out of there. Not sure how far I gotta move him to get him out of their range. Let's move him here and use his ability again. Or I could take it down a little further. Now let's do this. Yeah, that was a good decision. This guy is not too tough anymore. Damn it! I don't know what he did, but he didn't do whatever he did wasn't good. I think he put up their health and lowered their armor. Which turns it now? It's hers. Okay. Let's kill this guy. Oh, we can't kill him yet, but we've come pretty close to it. Yeah, where are you throwing that to, boy? Ha, ah, you did this time. I gotta get him out of there. Does that do two spaces of damage or one? I can't remember. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's put him here. And then let's take out this big old arsehole right here. Oh, I didn't move either. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lots of swearing today. I'm gonna move her first. Cause if she gets hit by him, she's a goner. He can take a hit, but she can't. Oh, he got hit! Damn it! Ooh, 11. 11, I likey, I likey. And down he goes. I'm sorry, friend. Jeez, the big toughy. Let's get all my guys over here, so. Let's murder this dude. Oh, I can't murder him? What do we have again? 
use battering ram. And what did you see? Knock JG was up four tiles plus one hour of damage. They passed through. Uh, poopy. I can do one damage to him. How much do we have? Nine. Damn it. Let's hurt him two armor. Oh, he's dying. I'm dying next turn anyway. Oh, you're doing that stupid shit again. So this guy is dying this turn. Ah, damn it. I didn't think she was close enough. Ha! You suck. <laughs> I can't reach him. Oh, because you only have one health for freak's sakes. But he has 10 armor. Okay. How come I can't get him in a better sp spot? Let's move up here. And let's get this guy down some armor. Hey! Oh, poor Ivor. I'm sorry, Ivor. I fucked up, I know. Um, apparently she can't hit anyone anywhere. Move her up behind him. Ooh. What the heck was that? <laughs> My phone made a weird noise. I don't have your alarm set or anything. I could hit him for 10. I'm gonna do that. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Ooh, I moved over a little bit more. I could hit him as well. No, I can't. <laughs> Shoot. I'm okay with that. What are you doing, you big old butthole? She's been my uh, murderer or finisher offer. I don't know what you call her. My cleanup crew, my janitor. She's been great. No! Ha! You suck. I'm gonna go right here. Cause he might not live much longer. I'm gonna use his ability to hit this guy. Yeah! I used it right for once. You're not long for this world, my friend. I don't know what the hell you're doing. And she can't still can't hit him. You're going down now, boy. Okay, you can do that all you want. I'm okay with that. Just make sure he's out of the way. And now you are dead, my friend. Come on, you stone singer, you. I gotta make sure she's out of the way, too. We got lots of willpower. I could bear it. Make sure he's not gonna get hit. And let's take down his armor. Two. Goody good. Goody good gumdrops. What still? What the heck is going on with her? Move. Let's get her close to him as we can. I still can hit him. Oh, because it moves farther forward than it does. Bugger. Damn it. Almost up to him. He has one. Let's not use it, because I still won't be in range. Oh! 
Well, you're gonna die this time, my friend. My fine feathered friend. Ha. And now you are dead. Goodbye. That wasn't too hard. Victory. Your renown grows. Now I'm renowned. Our guys got smashed up. But I'm okay with that. We got 11, we got 24 renown now. Ooh, ooh, look at all the dredge. I never noticed that. Holy crap. Wow. Is that the Belver? Wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, we're out of time. If you want to see how this siege, I guess you might call it, holds out, you have to catch me in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. And for now, this is Mike Legg signing off. See you later.